The French Defense Minister, who is on an official visit to CAR, says the conflict-torn country must not be allowed to split. He says Christian militias formed after abuses by mainly Muslim Seleka rebels who ruled the country for nine months are waving a revenge cycle of bloodshed and emerging as the greatest threat to peace. We were talking a lot about the ex -Selaka. Now we talk a lot of anti-Balaka. When we behave like that regarding the population as bandits, these are criminal acts and we should punish them. We are here to apply the UN Security Council resolution, meaning the resolution of the international community voted on in unanimity, including the use of force. He met with CAR President Catherine Sambapanza during a trip southwest of Bangui where French peacekeepers showed weapons they took off various armed people during searches. Violence has worsened since Eleka leader Michael Jatordia resigned as president in January after international pressure. France has deployed around 1,600 troops to support an African Union peacekeeping force of 6,000 soldiers, but they have been powerless to hold the communal violence. These are not conventional troops. Originally there was a patriotic movement that wanted to react in the face of the ex seleka elements, but since then I think there's a strong deviation from the original motives. What we are witnessing now in Bangui, as well as in the rest of the country, is a proliferation of bandits. Muslims used to make up 15% of the population of roughly 4 million people. Many worked as traders, shopkeepers and herders, and their flight is severely affecting the impoverished economy, raising fears of a major food crisis. International forces, including the Chadian military and African peacekeepers, have evacuated tens of thousands of Muslims from areas under the control of anti-Balaka forces in the absence of government troops. The Muslim exodus has raised fears of a division of CAR into a Muslim north and a Christian south. But Samba Panza said that cannot be an option. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.